the key facts you need to know. So we have a gradient. Now for any two given random points here, we've got y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, make sure that you uh, have y's above x's. Uh, and then this could also be placed within here, but this is uh, at a level. We like to use this the equation of a line of y minus y1 and x minus x1. We put one point in, figure it out. Uh, from here, things to remember. If uh, lines are parallel, then m in y equals mx plus c will be the same. Uh, likewise, uh, if you're looking at things where they're perpendicular, you have minus 1 over it. We'll say that's the negative reciprocal. Uh, let's just look at two common examples that you might get. So we've got one here. Find the equation of a line with gradient 2 through the point 3, 5. So we've already got the gradient, so we don't need to worry about this part. Let's go straight to this uh, equation. It's y minus, so this will be y1, okay, equals the gradient, equals m, which is 2, x minus x1, which is 3. Okay? And now it's just a case of rearranging to be in the correct format. So y minus 5 equals 2x, make sure you multiply across there, and then tidying up 2x, we add 5 onto there, we have minus 1. Okay, uh, again, it's the same setup really, but we need to find the gradient first. Now, you could substitute this right into this and work it all out. Uh, totally fine. I'm going to break it into separate parts so that you can be more sure of what you're doing. So, if we find the gradient first, so let's take this to be the first and this to be the second point. We need to be consistent on top and bottom. So, y2 is 1, uh, y1 would be 5. Uh, x2, so I've said 2, so make sure I don't go for this, so this is 5 minus the 3, okay, looking across there we'll get minus 4, uh, we'll get 2, so we end up with then uh, minus 2, gradient of minus 2, a negative gradient, so it's going to be going in that direction. Now we go back to this equation, uh, just let's take this one just for example, so y minus uh, y1 is 5, equals the gradient we've got is minus 2, so x minus x1, which is 3, and again, we start to tidy this up. Minus 2x, minus, minus, plus, but 2, 3 is a 6. Okay, y equals minus 2x, we add the 5 on, so plus 11. Okay, there you have it.